Hey y'all, Pi here, and this is, uh, and we're back in Mahir's Tale, and this is actually the second attempt to record this episode. Let's just say I tried to pick up a quest that clearly, uh, the game does not like with my current mod setup, and it, uh, it got upset with me. <laughs> it, it was not happy about the whole situation, and, uh, yeah. I'm hoping I haven't lost anything majorly from the record- from the, um, series as a whole. I don't think I have, but also I haven't checked the previous episode yet to confirm that I did end up back where I was supposed to start. Because I kind of messed up my saves too, so like... <sighs> this, this Attempting to make this episode has already been kind of a shit show. But anyway... If you hear uh, crinkling plastic and crunching in the background, I am... <laughs> I'm kind of uh, eating my feelings at the moment. A coin for an old beggar. Makes me feel a little bit better. Mm. So, first things first. We are going to the chapel to uh, be a good little Khajiit and pray to the nine, put on the appearance of someone who is very religious so that we uh, can remove some of the potential blame from ourselves when people start to notice that things have gone missing. A coin for an old beggar? No. And another hey, part of our attempt you? to uh, hide amongst the sheep, as it were, is we are actually going to finally go up to the castle say hi to the count pretend that we're not stressed out of our brain seeing so many guards all around and uh, see if there's any way that we can ingratiate ourselves to the powers that be so that uh, once again when things start going missing nobody uh, nobody thinks about Mahira as potentially being Responsible. Morning. Or... Well met, my lord. Hello. Welcome to Bruma Castle. What's brought you here today? Uh, is there anything you can tell me about Bruma? Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. A very diplomatic response. Any rumors? And Delindaris may or may not have killed his wife, and it may or may not have been an accident, and I doubt we'll ever know for sure. What? Why is there no follow up for that? Okay. May the divine smile upon you. Clearly, she's got nothing else to say. Good day. I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Norina Carvain. Uh, what can you tell me about the Countess? The Countess is in attendance. Please observe proper etiquette. Okay. That was... odd. Um, Greetings to you. What about you? Yes? I don't like your beard. Uh, any rumors? Did you ever hear about the ghost of Lord Vlindrol? They say he haunts the road to Coral. Not that I've ever seen him myself, mind you. Uh huh. Take care. Okay. So. Oh, hello. Hi there. I'm Ivara Shanit, Countess Bruma's steward. The Countess makes policy, leaving the details of administration to me. I see. What can you tell me about the city? Captain Bird and I make a good pair. He understands Nords in the north while I appreciate the subtleties of Southern culture and politics. <laughs> that uh, jab there. Farewell. Okay, so this is not going anywhere. Great. <sighs> Fine. 
I hate room up. So there's like two quests here that aren't affiliated with guilds. Oh well. And one of them I can't do because it crashed the game. Did I not mention that before? Yeah, crashed the game fully. Just like did oh, not want anything you. to do with it. It was awful. <sighs> you know what? Bruma is great and all, but there is literally nothing to do here. And the local guards yes. clearly don't like me, but they don't really have a problem with me. And I have no genuine reason to stay here until that becomes no longer true. So, what I might actually just do is say, Bruma is a safe place to lie low when I have no other options. And I'll just like chill here for a long period of time. But, uh, I don't think, I don't think I need to be here anymore. So, we're leaving. It is cold and awful and I just want to go somewhere warm. Can I afford a horse? No. We're going on foot. This will be fun. Oh. Ten million mushrooms. take things a little slow because we don't know what we're going to encounter on the road. Once again I'm on the move from one unfamiliar place to another. I don't know how the lords can live in this frigid place. Even my fur isn't thick enough to protect me from this bitter cold. I miss elsewhere. It was so much warmer there. I wonder if I still have anything to go back to. That damn Bosmer will have already disappeared by now. I'm sure the others don't even miss me up either. Why travel with a freak like me when Cedra is a better alchemist in a real Maybe I'm better off alone. Other people would just use me and throw me away. Same way he did. Hmm. I guess we're going to Coral, Nikki be interesting. Hopefully Coral is not quite so dull and awful. Just a fog over the land. It's kind of interesting. And there, over the horizon, it's the Imperial City. Good that we're not coming much closer to it than this. Somehow I doubt that the guards will have forgotten us in less than a week. But, uh, ooh. Hello. trying to pick plants. Be wise. Just 
scared the shit out of me. Don't do that to people. You freak. What is it, citizen? Go away. Maybe waste an arrow. There it is. Ooh. That is something interesting. The first. Interesting. Clearly some type of holy site out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Could ask the guard about it, but he, uh, he's weird. I don't like him. once we can travel beside this guard you have my ear citizen if he'll keep walking you're a very slow rider sir what is that around to claim it, so it's fine. I'm not sure what that is either, but I should probably leave it alone. Um, there are no road signs. Mr. Guard, sir, which way to the city? I wonder if I can ask him directions. Just gonna save just in case. Trouble? Never. Uh, nope. Okay. Move along. Stay with the guard. Figure by car caravan with uh, the legion. You'll uh, protect me and generally think of me as a vulnerable citizen of the Empire, right? Someone far too weak to uh, travel alone. Certainly not a threat. The sun's beginning to set and I have no idea where I am. Ah. Not really a position I wanted to be in, to be honest. Quit jumping off the mountain. Anything I seem to be getting closer to the Imperial City. Since my Legionnaire companion has decided to uh, take his time back there, I think I'll return to sneaking through the path in the hopes that nothing will take an interest in me. 
Another guard, good. And a signpost. Good, we're going the right way. Hello, officer. Hail, citizen. I speak for the Emperor. Or at least I did. That's rough, buddy. Move along. Moving along. Just figured I'd walk with you. If I play my cards right, the guard will believe that I'm nothing more than a wandering alchemist looking for some protection. Maybe that's kind of what Mahira Alyssa she was. Oh good, an end. Or maybe not? Just a guess. Yes, go on. What can you tell me about the area? Virtuous visitors to way shrines of Kinnereth may receive blessings of agility. I see. I guess you don't have uh, rooms to rent. That's fine. Only quality goods for sale here. Oh. What can I interest you in? You sell weapons and armor and potions. Interesting. All right. Uh, we can have that. Hold on to that just in case. We can have my pelt and my fork and all of my wolf pelts. I appreciate your business. I appreciate yours. Can you repair my stuff? Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. Nice. Enough talk. I mean, you're not very nice, but like, you're useful. Hmm. Should definitely wait on that guard to catch up with me. It's dangerous out here. Somebody's horse. It's a legion horse. Where's the owner? Oh. I guess this is as far as he will go with me. Nobody's here to claim you. Take you on a nice uh, evening ride, I guess. Don't particularly want to be out here in the dark alone. Yeah, that's a wolf. Run. Just killed the wolf. Nikki? Did you just murder a wolf? Good Nikki. Didn't realize you were such a lethal weapon. Alright, 
Onward. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I am too fast. Na 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 na. Chasing me though. <sighs> Boy. Really? The guard running that way. Do I have a bounty? Nope. Ah. Hop off this horse. It's not mine. And uh, pretend nothing happened. Coral. We made it here alive. Ooh. Coral has interesting plants. Nope, nope. We need to get inside the city as quickly as possible. Because there are nasty things about. Where's the gate? Gosh, civilization. <laughs> Let me in. <sighs> it's you. Hi. Where even am I? Where's the end? Clearly, that was not the correct gate to come in to see the end right off the bat. It's been a very long day. It's already midnight. <sighs> Bed. Hello. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. <sighs> Bed. There's one available for the night. If you're interested, it'll be ten gold. What do you say? I'll take it. The room is upstairs. First door to the left. Sleep well. Thank you. Goodbye. I am done for the day. We're just gonna sleep. I'm just gonna fall directly into bed and just die. Okay. Now that I'm a little bit more awake, let's uh first of all explore our room. See if there are any uh free samples. No? Looks like the answer is no. Oh well. Sit down, have some breakfast, do some alchemy. Good stuff. Alright. Have some cow's milk. And... Some... Flatbread. And some cheddar cheese. So not too much going on, but we made a few potions. Okay. So we kind of came in to...
coral in the dead of night. So we haven't really talked to anybody or looked around at all. Which of course means that we now need to uh, acquaint ourselves with the town. In whatever capacity that implies. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nice. Ooh. Do I have a guide to coral? I do not. Just yoink that. And since we just got here and we'd like to know a little bit about the place, we can uh, go ahead and read it. Praise Stendar, the Nine, and all the saints. My name is Alicia Otis, and I'd like to tell you about the town of Cordal. Castle Coral. Coral is the county seat of County Coral, and is ruled by Countess Ariana Volka, a very proper woman and mother of the beautiful and virtuous Alicia Caro, Countess of Leowind. Countess Ariana is a devout and righteous follower of Akatosh, and sets a fine example for her people by her devotions in the chapel of Stendar. Her husband, Count Charis Volga, was, staunch, was a staunch defender of the faith and follower of Stendar, and his death in battle against the heathen Nord clansmen of Skyrim was greatly lamented by his people. <laughs> Elysia Caro has been a good wife to Count Marius Leow of Leowind and a dutiful daughter, and she is often seen visiting Coral and her saintly mother. I am also pleased to report that the castle mage is a righteous and godly servant of the Nine, unlike so many wizards who neglect the chapel and the faith. Channel offers magical training for those eager to smite the ungodly, and it would be much better to go to her than to some wicked mages guild hedge wizards. Ooh, the bias. The Countess holds court every day in the fine Great Hall, except on Sundas, of course. She has a very fine herald and steward, and the castle is neat and well-ordered. It also has a strong dungeon jail for evildoers, though I'm sorry to say that the guards are often lax in their duties and fail to arrest and lock up the various beggars and thieves and gamblers and cheats who idle in the streets. Uh -huh. Districts of Coral. There are five main districts of Coral. When you enter the gate, you find yourself in Fountain Gate, before the fine pool and statue of the Saint of Sanker Tor, a memory of all who died in that great battle. Around the fountain are two inns, the General's Store and the Smith. One street leads east to the castle, one north to the Great Oak Palace, one west to the Chapel Street and West Coral. Chapel Street leads to the wet chapel, past the bookstore, and thence to the crude shacks gathered around the well of the West Coral. Around Great Oak Place are the Mages Guild and Fighters Guild and many fine houses. <laughs> the Chapel of Stendar. The Chapel of Stendar is a beautiful and perfect and perfect for a traveler's meditations and prayer. Every Sunday morning, you will find the best citizens gathered with their good countess for worship. You may be surprised to learn that not all people of Coral follow the model of their countess, for many are very idle and careless in their devotions. This is certainly the responsibility of the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, whose members fail to set a good example for Coral citizens. The elderly priestess of the chapel, Orag Grab Bargol, is a kindly, righteous soul, and it would be far better to purchase your spells from her than from the godless heathens of the Mages Guild. <laughs> Coral's Guilds. The Fighters Guild members, though led by the excellent and honorable Velena Daunton, are dirty and uncouth in their speech, and often to be found lazing about in their chapter house, or wandering the town and engaging in loose talk. How much better it would be if they improved their characters by regular attendance at the Chapel of Stendar. Their excellent smith is an exception, being often seen at her devotions at the chapel. 
The members of the Coral Mages Guild are, for the most part, shiftless scholars and students who spend their time reading, quarreling, and brewing foul concoctions. They are well-spoken and well-educated, but what good is such learning if they fail to improve their souls by penance and prayer? You may purchase spells and potions from these persons, but it will only encourage them in their irreverent amusements and wicked idleness. He goods and services. The proprietor of Northern Goods and Trade, Seed Nita. Seed Nias is an Argonian, but unlike so many of her countrymen, she is clever, honest, and well-spoken. Ooh. <laughs> uh, a little racist. Isn't that remarkable? She is so accomplished that she offers training in the mercantile arts, but she will not purchase goods from her cheaply. I am told by those who know that the smith of fire and steel, Rashida the Red Guard, is a very fine craftsman who offers training in her craft, and she is always to be found at Sunda's chapel worship, but she is fresh and disrespectful, and her manners and dress leave something to be desired. <laughs> Renoit's books is fairly clean and has a wide selection of books, but you would believe but would you believe I found a, not a single copy of Ten Commands of the Nine Divines, nor have I ever seen the proprietess at the Chapel of Stendar? There are only two places where you may purchase food and lodging. One is proper and clean, frequented by decent citizens. The other is rude and dirty and, meeting, and a meeting place for drunkards, thieves, and orcs. <laughs> The one run by a well-dressed, dignified, and proper matron, the other is run by a careless young woman. The one is called the Oak Encrozier, the other is called the Grey Mare. The Grey Mare. I'm sure you know which one to visit if you want a clean and safe bed. Notable citizens of Coral. Castus Scribonia, the author, lives in Coral. She is a well-educated and well-traveled woman, but she writes books which I cannot recommend, for they are full of romance and gossip and other offensive and wasteful indulgences, and their heroes do not represent our children the proper uh, models of virtue, duty, honor, and reverence that the fo all followers of the Nine Divines must love and hold in our hearts. Shameful Features of Coral you will often see townsfolk gathered in mischief and loose talk around the great oak near the fighters and mages guilds. One man, very sly, named H Hunditar, knows all about the surrounding lands, and he offers to teach skills for a fee, but one never sees him in the chapel, and one suspects that he is given to profanity, strong drink, and brawling. There are many thieves and murderers in Coral. They even secretly teach their crafts for fees in their homes. And where is the Coral Guard? Nowhere to be seen, I'm sorry to say. The beggars in Coral are dirty, but they are free of disease, cheerful, and polite. You may give a coin to one to ease your soul, but it does little to improve a beggar, for it will soon be squandered on gambling, strong spirits, and other mischief. Nine gods and nine blessings. <laughs> Somebody had fun writing this. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about this author, Nikki. <laughs> well. While we're not being observed, see if there's anything else that we can liberate from this place. Ooh. It goes all the way up to uh, E real Baronza. Or... What's it called? Yeah, the real Baronza. I only have volume one. Hey. Provinces. Okay, I got that one. The Book of Daedra. Yep, got that one. Book of 
Daedra, the Book of Daedra. Why do you have so many books of Daedra? Guide to Anvil. Do I have the Guide to Anvil? Yes. Ruma, Chadenhall, Coral, Leowind, Argonian Accountant, Book 4. I mean, I definitely don't have it, but I also don't have Book 1. Hmm. I wonder where Book 1 is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something I've seen before. Okay. Anything else? Galarian the Mystic? Yep, I got that. So many duplicates. Also, the assassination. Okay. Boop, boop. Hello? Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Our rooms and food are at your disposal. Uh, what can you tell me about Coral? The Oak Enclosure is the place of choice for well bred visitors to Coral. The Grey Mare is more suitable for others. I see. Any rumors? Valena Danton just hasn't been the same since her eldest son died. Still, she does a good job of running the Fighters Guild. I see. Farewell. I notice you're standing awkwardly over here. Yeah. Greetings, stranger. I'm Scribonius Thrall, the retired merchant. I'm currently selling my old store if you're interested. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm just an old trader. For 30 years I have run that store. It's made me a small fortune. But I'm old and tired now. What good is all that gold if you can't spend it, I say. So I'll sell it and move to a nice manor. I see. What goes into running a store? It's nothing complicated, I assure you. Especially for an adventurous fellow like yourself. All you have to do is hire someone to tend your shop while you're gone and remember to keep it well stocked with all sorts of items. Uh... I don't think I'm quite cut out for that. But I'll keep you in mind. That'd be interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Northern goods and trade? I believe I read about that. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Uh, yes I am. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Who's your mother? My mother owns this shop. She would be glad of your business. I see. Any rumors? Have you met Madrin Orion? Quiet man, but apparently he's an incredible fighter. Uh, I've not had a chance to meet him yet. Good day. Huh. You're probably the friendliest person I've ever met. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Uh, what can you tell me about Coral? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other Coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. I see. What is this, uh... Bank services. Okay. What do you sell? Can I interest you in some of my wares? Ooh. Rye bread. Special cheese. Ooh. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> this cannot be allowed to go unbought. I'm sorry. Okay. I want all your food. All of it. Yes. A bargain. You drive a. Yep, all of it. You drive. And the pie. You yep. drive a hard bargain. You know what? 
I will take the uh, green silk garment. Thank, Thank you. you for your business. And Good day. Try that on. Oh wow. I look like a bit of a dork. But it's better than my sackcloth. That makes me look like a vagabond. Maybe it's the boots that are... Eee. The boots don't help. But also, I don't have anything else to put on my feet. Okay. What? Would you like to take my pants? <laughs> Have a look at my wares. <laughs> I'm sure there's something to see. An excellent bargain. Come back and see me again. I probably will. You're Goodbye. very friendly. I like you. Thank you for the pants. Huh. I like that Argonia, Nikki. She's nice. Ooh, books. Uh, hello. Welcome to Renoir's Books. I'm the owner, Estelle Renoir. Look around. If you don't see what you want, please ask. Any rumors? I don't understand what Glistel is doing with Melintus Ancrus. I mean, have you seen her? And have you seen him? I just don't get it. I see. Let's do business. Yeah. Farewell. All right then. Not really fluid enough to be uh, wasting lots of money on books. What is this? Nope, oh, that's somebody's house. I made assumptions and I should not have. It's also a house, but it's open. A little afraid. But let's go in. Um, oh. Hi. I'm Carmen Litter. Perhaps you know my husband, Alberic Litter, the Mage's Guild Sorcerer. What can I do for you? Uh, what can you tell me about the city? Are you a student of the arcane arts? My husband, Alberic, is an advanced trainer in conjuration at the Mages Guild. I see. Any rumors? Ah, Coral. Easy access to all the other cities of Cyrodiil. If you say so. Bye. Okay. I'm not sure why you left your front door. Oh, chapel. Gotta go there. It is required. Got a show face at the chapel so that the lady who writes the yes. guidebooks will like us. I'm the chapel healer, Gorreran Selvilla. We're glad to see you paying your respects here at the chapel. I'm glad to be seen. Coral? In Coral, we Highlanders treat our gods' teachings as rules to live by. Our lives are governed by the Ten Commands. I see. Any rumors? I'm not so sure about that Yugal Bellet. An odd fellow, and people have said there are strange noises coming from his house at all hours. Interesting. Take care. How are you? I'm Otius Loren, primate of Stendar. You stand before God's servant in the House of the Nine. Be humble and show respect. Uh, yes, sir. I don't really have anything to talk about. Good day. What? Uh, nothing. Take care. Blessings. I'm Orig Grabargle, servant of Stendar. May you grow in the faith. Any rumors? I read one of Castus Grabonia's books not long ago. Terrible stuff, if you ask me. But some folks seem to like it. Yeah. Books are very subjective. Leave me alone! I'm sorry. I, I, I will keep my opinions on books to myself in the future. What? 
Any rumors? I'm not so sure about that Yugal Bellet. An odd fellow. And people have said there are strange noises coming from his house at all hours. You know, I have heard that too. Be seeing you. Um... How would right do you disturb Ooh. me? I have hey. no more to say to you. It be that way. Okay, so Good apparently... Night. Bye. I have made at least one pilgrimage. So far. Wait a minute. Interesting. I didn't get Go on. You. Bedell, Debella doesn't love me. What's this about? Interesting. Let me pray at the main altar. Ooh. Okay. Let's be off, Nikki. There are more people to talk to. Gotta show our face all around, right? Hello. I'm Rena Bruyant. I love dogs. Doesn't everyone? I'm partial to foxes. Can you tell me anything about the city? They probably call us the dog people here in town. Romalis and I love dogs. We have quite a few. So sweet and well behaved you wouldn't believe. Aw, that's cute. Any rumors? I think we're in for some hard times. The death of Uriel Septim and his heirs changes everything. So everyone's been saying. Be seeing you. I believe these are just people's houses. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we find that uh, poor district that the author of our guidebook was so offended by. Doors are locked, which I guess that's fair enough. Who else can we talk to? Oh, it's a pupper. Aww. What doing? is it now? I'm sorry. I love your dogs. They're beautiful. I help you. I think already talked to you. Nope. Mushrooms. Failure. Mm -hmm. Local blacksmith. Hello. Hello. I'm Rashida, the smith, and this is fire and steel. Quality armor and weapons. Repairs, too. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you know about the city? Nice town. But you need money here to live well. Head out of town and do some hunting. Sell the skins. Or you can loot old caves and ruins. I see. Any rumors? Northern Goods and Trade is an excellent place to buy supplies. Yeah, so I've seen. Let's do business. What do you sell? Nothing particularly interesting. Not smart to carry a. You too. Good day. All right. What else we got? Oh. You're a bold little thing, aren't you? I'm afraid you're of no use to me. Goodbye. Rude. Guess not everybody's friendly. I had no idea. No uh, doubt. Cut in? Pondetard is the name. I'm a hunter and mountain man. I see. What can you tell me about Coral? The deer here are skittish. Need to get them quick, or they'll lead you a merry chase. Poison on your arrows can help, and it won't hurt the meat. 
Interesting. Rumors? I can't believe that Glisto would live with that Malintus Ancress. Shameful, and her being such a lovely girl. Everyone seems very offended by this. I don't understand. Farewell. Oh. I think I'm gonna sit here under this lovely tree. And this is where I am going to end this episode. Because, uh... It's gone longer than normal. At least my recording session has. I don't know what it's going to I'm come out to after editing. When you murder someone, but, uh, the yeah. dark brother as comes always, to um, it's how they recruit new members. Do you mind? Are you sure? Indeed. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I'd like to hope. Why are you guys so loud? Farewell. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if please consider uh, becoming a Patreon if you like what I'm doing here. Um, and if you have any feedback, positive, negative, neutral, whatever, let me know in the comments down below. I, I look forward to reading them. And uh, I hope I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm.